All right, y'all. Let's talk about the Andrew Tate situation. All right, is he guilty? Is he not guilty? I don't know. Um, that's neither here nor there because you wasn't there, I wasn't there. All right. Um, I believe he's innocent, but I don't know. But that's not what I'm speaking on. I just want to talk about what we can learn from the situation. All right, as a man or a woman or anybody who's trying to have success. All right, know that there's always going to be something coming from you if your success is outside of the norm all right if like if you're in the gym and everybody's doing 120 pounds on the deadlift or less um and you go over there and you deadlift 500 pounds before you even get to that 500 pounds because you got to warm up with the lightweight and then heavier 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 before you even get to that 500 pounds people are going to be just swarming you all right that's the same thing that happens in real life or anything because people will swarm you. I'm warning you. If you make a lot of money, people that don't make a lot of money are going to be all over you. All right? They're going to, some are going to be trying to stop you. Others are going to be stopping you or slowing you down, even if you believe it or not. They're going to be slowing you down just by trying to learn from you. I'm like, nah, man, get away from me, dog. You know what I'm saying? So it's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be things in the way. You just got to learn how to jump the hurdles, man. Free Tate, if innocent. Peace.